Hello and welcome to this video on blockchain. My name is Purobi Mitra and I am a senior faculty at Vadhwani Institute of Technology and Policy. Today we are going to talk about blockchain as an emerging technology. In this short video, we will explain what is a blockchain, gain awareness of use cases and examples of blockchain in India, understand what blockchain can and cannot do currently. Distinguish between blockchain and cryptocurrency. Agreements and contracts. All of us have come across these in our lives, be it in a rental agreement, a loan agreement, or a contract of employment. Contracts, agreements, and the records of these transactions are integral to our economic, legal, and political systems. They define and establish ownership of assets, be it physical or intangible. These are essential to establish trust, one's identities and ownership. As a result, third party or intermediaries are a key to any transaction such as money lending or the sale of high value assets like a house. These intermediaries like lawyers, brokers and bankers help enforce a contract by defining the way the different parties are identified validated and their details stored and shared. However, this leads to additional transaction costs, compliance requirements and sometimes delays. For example, in case of the urban property transaction, lawyers go through a chain of sales of the property earlier bought from various registers kept in the office of sub-registrar. Banks have to check whether any other bank has given loans on this property etc. For instance, let's take the use case in customs. The customs duty process involves multiple stakeholders, namely the custom department, the importer, the exporter, custom house agents and banks. The goods shipped by an exporter come to the customs department and on completion of all clearances and payments made by the importer to the customs. The custom then releases the goods to the importer. The process time is time consuming, needs a lot of paperwork and is mainly manual in nature leading to operational delays as many parties are involved. Many solutions have been proposed to take care of the problem of lack of trust and transparency. Among the emerging technologies to solve this problem is blockchain. A blockchain based customs duty payment processing enables all the relevant parties like the customs department, the importer, the exporter, custom house agents and banks to have access to see all the transactions. The transactions will be independently verified by multiple parties and cannot be changed or tampered with. This enables real-time tracking and transparency of the processing of customs clearance to all relevant stakeholders. The solution will help the customs department to reducing paperwork, reduce time required and better manage space and cash cycles. So, what is a blockchain and how does it work? Blockchain is a digital list of records. These records are called blocks. These records or blocks are chained together to form a blockchain. The records that are digitally put one after the other from old to new in the order in which they happen. The requirement for each subsequent block or record to be added to the ledger is the agreement of all participants in the network. This creates a continuous mechanism of data quality control and reduces manipulation and errors. Once a blockchain or record is created, it cannot be changed later without changing of all subsequent blocks. The fact that a block once formed cannot be changed increases trust among different parties. The key elements of a blockchain include distributed ledger technology, immutable records and smart contracts. Let's take a look at each one by one. Distributed Ledger Technology In a blockchain, the transactions are distributed and stored across multiple computers. All parties have access to the distributed ledger and record of transactions. The distributed nature of the transaction records across many computers allows the party to verify 
and audit transactions independently and at a low cost. Immutable records. Immutable records mean the records cannot be changed. No participant can change or alter with the record of transaction after it's been recorded to the distributed ledger. If a transaction record includes an error, a new transaction must be added to reverse the error and both transactions are then visible. Smart Contracts To speed transactions, a set of rules called a smart contract is stored on the blockchain and executed automatically. For instance, a smart contract for crop insurance would define conditions when the insurance needs to be paid. And if the criteria is met, such as there has been a rainfall of less than 100 millimeters in the sowing period, the insurance money would be released automatically without the need for human intervention to the farmer. These features help establish trust and reduce human intervention. As a result, blockchains have applications across domains including healthcare, supply chain, banking and financial services, automotive, retail, education, as well as government. We highlight some use cases of blockchain by the government of India and state governments. Let's start with the first use case, which is on land registry. According to the blockchain report 2019 of NASCOM, Different states across India have initiated blockchain-based use cases. The Government of India has also renewed the push for making all land records and titling digital through the Digital India Land Records Modernization Program DILRMP. Many states including Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Telangana have used blockchain for land registry. The current process of land registry involves multiple documentations and a lot of paperwork. In land records, it is common to encounter differences within the paperwork including forged documents, counterfeit titles and in some cases a complete loss of all documentation. Often this leads to court cases which is a lot of cost and a lot of time. With a blockchain-enabled solution, each record is noted in a blockchain and as a result over time, as all land records are digitized, these will enable a transparent mechanism to establish ownership and prevent fraud. Additionally, the use of smart contracts enable automatic sign-offs by both buyer and seller once the transaction reaches the final approval stage. Supply chain is another use case. Currently, the logistics industry have a paper-heavy process with over 36 different commonly used documents, which serve different purposes and are either generated, transferred or simply received during various intermediate steps of the shipments. Around 80% of the documents are exchanged as physical copies during a shipment. Given the multiple stakeholders and intermediaries, the documentation result in high processing charges, redundancy in documentation, time and effort in document maintenance and transfer. India Logistics, a neutral entity within the central government, is working on a blockchain solution called Secured Logistics Document Exchange, SLDE for short, with a central logistics document repository. SLDE will have the technical support of the DigiLocker team of the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Currently, a bill of landing and other documents for the exporter are created physically and after the bank authorizes the transaction, the importer transfers the monies to the exporter. The digital e-invoice, e-bill of landing and other documents will be created using blockchain-enabled smart contracts. This will ensure secure, digital and paperless solution which may be audited by all parties. This will enhance trust and reduce delay. India Logistics estimates that the move to the SLDE solution would result in a near instant transmission thereby reducing document turnaround times by up to 99%. Finally, another use case is in education. 
CBSC, in technical collaboration with the Center of Excellence for Blockchain Technology of National Informatics Center, has come up with a solution using blockchain technology named as Academic Blockchain Documents. IIT Kanpur has also initiated the use of blockchains for its degrees. Blockchain technology ensures that academic documents are recorded in a secure and a tamper-proof manner. These academic documents can be accessed online one in a trusted manner to ease verification of the authenticity of certificates produced by the candidates for admissions, jobs, loans, etc. After these use cases across multiple areas such as land, supply chain, education and customs, let's discuss an area that blockchains are more talked about. Cryptocurrency Are cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and blockchain the same thing? Actually no. Bitcoin is an unregulated digital currency. Bitcoin uses blockchain technology as its transaction ledger. In other words, Bitcoin is a use case of blockchain. Blockchain has found many uses beyond Bitcoin as we discussed earlier. The Reserve Bank of India is looking at a regulated central bank digital currency using blockchain. A bill for the same was introduced in the December of 2021 parliamentary session. In the 2022 budget, Finance Minister announced that RBI would launch a digital rupee. As we saw, there are many benefits of blockchain, like improved accuracy by removing human involvement in verification, cost reductions by eliminating third-party verification, distributed nature makes blockchains harder to tamper with, and transparent technology. At the same time, blockchain also have some limitations. These could be significant technology cost associated with it, low transactions per second, scalability is an issue, and blockchains may also be hacked. As we see blockchains have benefits, we also must know that there are significant limitations. After this video, we hope you will be able to define blockchains and explain why it's not as same as cryptocurrencies. Share use cases and examples of blockchain in India and understand the benefits and limitations of blockchain. We hope you liked this video and if you are interested in such emerging technologies, then please take a look at our other technology videos. We hope to see you next time and until then, thank you for watching.